Check us out next time for more adventure and another great legend of the Hidden Temple. Season 1 had reached completion, and like most Nickelodeon game shows, Legends was renewed for a second season. Stone Stanley began production on another season of Legends of the Hidden Temple. But it was clear some changes needed to be made, so a new director was brought in to help give the show a fresh look, one that would make Legends a true experience. Glenn Weiss was 33 years old when he was hired to direct Legends of the Hidden Temple. Glenn took the first season of Legends and made the second season darker in scope. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Thank you, old man. With a new director and a darker set, the show was able to take a darker tone. Suddenly, the temple itself became a character in the show. In season one, there was only one camera in the temple, the very first room. Season two, Glenn made the decision to add cameras and cameramen inside of the temple, making for some of the most epic shots of the series. Dives into the pit of despair! Where's she heading? Oh, into the shrine of the silver monkey! Back up! Two minutes, 52 seconds! We have easy time, but a tempo guard grabs his pendant! Cut! You gotta find the back end. There you go! You're gonna have to make it! We got 18 seconds! She got the bottom! She got the bottom! Take off! Get the scene Melodian! Oh, just a few seconds left! Can he grab it? Can he grab it? Can he grab it? Un oh, he just missed it. Oh, grab it on. She's in the room. She's in the bathroom room. Get the pepperoni. Get the pepper. Oh, she got in the room. That's one. Where's the key? Is it in there? Oh, he found the key. Now find the hole. That's going to take him up to the shrine of the silver monkey. He's got it, the broken wing, the doors are open, he's got 54 seconds! The show may have stumbled a bit during its first season. Sleep! Oh, oh, she fell right at the gate! But that didn't stop the crew from making an epic second season. She's okay! She's alright! She moves on! The call can be heard from near and far, and kids are answering it! It's Nickelodeon's Legends of the Hidden Temple, where kids conquer mysterious challenges of mind and body, scale great heights, and battle mighty foes. And it's the only show where kids can talk to a rock. Don't take me for granted. Heed the call. And watch every weekday at 5 34 30 Central, only on Nickelodeon. In Season 1, Olmec had almost no responsibility, and Kirk had too much responsibility. Season 2 would switch these fortunes and better the show in the process. Olmec, we're now ready for your first question. Season 2 gave Olmec more presence in the show. It was now Olmec who would explain how to cross the moat. And Olmec will tell him how they have to do it today. Above you an ancient bar has fallen across the moat. How each temple game was to be played. Olmec, tell us about temple game number 1. Icarus loved the view of the earth, the clouds, and flying with the birds. In this game, you will be able to see what that's like. And the rules of the temple. First, Olmec will give them some information to help them retrieve the broken wing of Icarus. When Kirk gives the signal, you'll race through the gates into the temple and make your way towards the broken wing of Icarus. This made Olmec a more prominent figure in the show and created one of the most iconic phrases in the series. The choices are yours and yours alone. You won one pendant in the Temple Games. Who's going first? I am. Very well, Jason. Also, the rooms in the Temple got more character. What was once a light-hearted room with gongs in it became a crypt with skeletons who screamed <laughs> What was once an inoffensive Egyptian-type tomb became a dark forest with two menacing trees ready to grab contestants as they made their way through. The Temple Games also got some upgrades. Slingshot battles, rotating arms, and giant stairs helped take adventure to the next level. Welcome back to Legends. Now, of course, the glory goes to the fastest and the strongest but before we get started, I want to find out about our team members here. With Olmec now explaining the rules, Kirk had less responsibility on his plate. 
Because the format of the show involved taping four moat crossings at once, then four steps of knowledge, then four sets of temple games, and then finally four temple runs, even the most experienced host could have trouble keeping track of what exactly happened in which episode. With less responsibility, Kirk was able to improve his commentary. Orange Iguana's doing good because they know they got to stay alive. If one person falls, they leave it in the hands of the other. He was also able to make callbacks to things that had happened earlier in the episode and play off facts about the contestants. Welcome back to Legends. I call them the comeback kids. They came back in the moat, they came back in the temple games, and they have proven themselves worthy and now have earned the right to enter Olmec's temple. Go! Up into the temple. She's heading quick. They are the comeback kids. I have a lot of confidence in them. This team is tenacious. Matt and Paula work well together and they may have to work well together here. She's got to come through the gate. She did it. She made it through the gate. There she goes. She got it. These are the comeback kids. I called it. They raced across the moat. He raced across the moat. She held on to the horse. She told me earlier that she, she loves horses and that's why she held on to the horse. Now I'm ready for Nickelodeon's Legends of the Hidden Temple. I've got special flippers for the moat, suction gloves for the temple games, infrared goggles for spotting temple guards. I'm ready. I'm outfitted. I am the ultimate competitor, so bring it on! You just don't get it, do you? What? To be the ultimate competitor on Legends, all you have to be is a kid. Watch ordinary kids live out legendary adventures on Legends of the Hidden Temple every weekday on Nickelodeon. Nice try, though. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Season 1 had set the groundwork, but Season 2 was what made Legends an epic adventure. Thank you, thank you very much. Nice to see you. Thank you, Olmec. Welcome to Legends of the Hidden Temple. The new season premiered in the summer of 1994. And again, a fantastic episode was chosen to start a new year of Legends. What are we going to hear about today? The legend of the snakeskin boots of Billy the Kid. Oh, the snakeskin boots of Billy the Kid. Oh, my purple parrot! Oh, right. Nice. Was it a state, a territory? Great monkeys. That is correct. These two teams are going to the temple game. It was a tie. They each got two, so that gives them both a pendant but it gives the purple parrots two pendants. The green monkeys had one. The purple parrots are going to the temple. Yes. What a shootout. On your mark, get set, go. There she goes into the temple. Which way is she gonna go, up or down? She's heading into the crib. Into the crib where she's gonna have to pull the golden books of the skeleton. Oh, temple guard. Get it, get it, grab it, grab it. Yes, he's got it now, all the doors are open. He's got 50 seconds. Season 2 of Legends was received well. In 1995, at the 16th Annual Cable Ace Awards, Legends of the Hidden Temple managed to take home the award for Best Game Show Special or Series, managing to beat out former two-time winner Supermarket Sweep. With Season 2 as good as it was, the question begged. Could a third season possibly improve on this? We'll find out in the next video. This is the end of part two. Part three will be coming shortly. Thank you again for watching. And remember everybody, it's hard to see the end when you're beginning. We've